This is the Titan II uh, rocket. It's an ICBM, which means intercontinental ballistic missile, designed in the uh, 50s and early 60s to uh, literally go across continents to deliver its payload, these warheads. Um, this one's found at the uh, Titan II Museum south of Tucson. The Titan II comes after the Titan I, which uses an LR-87-5 engine. Uh, which uses uh, nitrogen for oxidizer and a 50-50 combination hydrazine and aerozine for the uh, the main uh, fuel. And this is, in di is different than the liquid oxygen used in the Titan I. The Titan II is actually arguably one of the more famous rockets developed uh, by the national defense agencies and, and NASA. It was used in all the Gemini missions, uh, which was early in the space program, in the U.S. space program program. Twelve Titan IIs were used in the Gemini missions by NASA, ten with, with, that were manned and two unmanned, and all the launches were quite successful. It's ironic that the weapon was, was designed as an ICBM, but actually has more notoriety as a, as a, as a space exploration or, or for NASA. This site was uh, Operation 1963, and all the Titan program was shut down in 1982 uh, to make room for the newer uh, Peacemaker missiles. Quite a few of the two Titan IIs that were decommissioned were used by NASA for space shot shots for satellites. The last one was done in 2003 out of California. This Titan II museum here in, uh, in Tucson was actually used in Star Trek uh, First Contact as Mr. Cochran's space uh, vehicle called the Phoenix and it's kind of famous by all trekkers or trekkies all over the world. Some tourists checking at the Titan II here in Tucson and this is the uh, where the liquid was pumped in. It had to be maintained regularly which was a lot more costly than the newer uh, missiles that come out, the Titan III and then later on the Peacemaker. Switching over to solid based propellants saved a tremendous amount of resources, money from the military which were in the Titan III and later on the Peacemaker missiles. Also, the bigger newer missiles had multiple warheads, where this one could only carry one warhead at a time.